I'm gonna do this video this week. I don't usually do a lot of negative. Usually if something negative happens, I say something after the fact when it's over. Pretty much the same thing here. I've been so fucking miserable here. What is up guys? So I have had a miserable, miserable couple weeks doing this bus build. And uh, this last week ain't been too bad. A couple weeks prior to that was freaking awful. I thought I was gonna die for sure up in here in this heat. Um, I mean, the conditions, it was just insanely crazy. Um, I don't usually do videos about negative stuff or, um, you know, uh, if something bad does happen, I usually do the video later, which is kind of the case because this week's been great. The weather's been awesome here. In the last, I haven't had my air conditioner on in um, three days because the weather's been, I mean, like 60 degrees at night. Two weeks ago, it was uh, in this shed here. I'm going to call it a shed, a warehouse, whatever you call it. It was um, some days 105 degrees in here, just still hot, hot air. It was crazy miserable. And my living conditions. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you my living conditions here in a minute. But uh, let me tell you, I ain't gonna show you nothing about the build today. We're gonna uh, follow back up on that next week. I'm just gonna tell you how I've been living. This is something I don't usually do. I don't tell you exactly you know how I'm living all the time. I pop up in a new town sometimes. I do a video. Life is good. And to be honest, life is good. I love doing this stuff. I love uh, building stuff like this. I will never do it in these conditions again. Um, just the heat. This shed here, if it had a back door, it would have made a big difference too, getting a breeze in here. Um, the air condition in the last week has helped. Even I've had it I've had it installed for two or three weeks, but I couldn't use it because the breaker was popping, and we figured out how to uh, keep that on. So even right now behind me, is I feel the cold air uh, coming at me and kind of swiping around me in front of me is just hot and today's not a bad day this uh, like I said this whole week has been pretty nice uh, I'm not sweating too bad uh, last two weeks I don't care what I was doing I was just soaking wet pouring sweat uh, hardly breathe that last video matter of fact um, I quit smoking three months ago and I was breathing like that in my videos three months ago that last one it was just pure almost dying guys crazy so I wasn't thinking too much I'm a Florida boy I thought Arkansas in the winter or the summer would probably be a lot cooler than where I'm from what I'm here to tell you but uh, yeah I just thought I'd give you all a little uh, insight of behind the scenes of the shuttle bus build um, ain't been too much fun last week I've changed my attitude because I was getting pretty miserable I mean, really miserable. My attitude was showing in my attitude. I was being a dick to people. Actually, I'm really not around anybody. I was being a dick to David a couple times. Uh, I apologize, David. Sorry, brother. Um, nothing ain't, we can't get over it. Ain't too bad. You know, we push through it. But uh, I'm just stuck in this pit. You know what I mean? My van's uh, stuck in here. If I want to move anywhere or go anywhere, pretty much, I got to disrupt what I'm working on, pull the bus out so I can pull my van out. But uh, that's the way it's been. I only got a month of it. Wah. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to push through. We're going to handle this. And I'm going to do a beautiful build. And I'm going to be proud when I leave. But uh, again, just thought it would be pretty cool to show you all behind the scenes. Right now, I'm going to whip the camera around and uh, show you how I live. So. I'll give you all a peek, didn't I? So this place is cramped in here. There ain't a whole lot, you know, to uh, to move around. So I just made me a kind of a living area back here, which isn't really cool. I don't. I'm not liking it at all. But you know, we're making it work. And uh, you know, this is how I live anyway. But usually on a beach somewhere. Uh, I'm a little dirty there. I think I got some dirty clothes stacked up. But I'm just crawling in here at night. I can turn the air condition on when it's really hot. But then I'm just stuck in my van in a shed. It's really not cool. So I got this little walkway here and um, get up here for And that's where that was, uh, 
that was a 240 volt and uh, we split it in half so we could run the air condition and my air condition in my van because before it was uh popping the breaker every time we try to run both so back here i got my little uh um changing area i got some clothes sorted out you know how this guys do it this one smells really bad this one smells okay maybe we're again that one smells beautiful i can wear it tonight you go on a date no i'm just kidding i don't know why i say like that but uh <laughs> just, just got my shit stacked back here this is where i uh uh dress this is where i get dressed at i got this up here just because when i walk by it's so nasty back here that i'm not bumping into grease because you see how nasty this shit really is behind everything so when i walk through there i'm not getting dirty because usually when i walk only walk through here is to take a shower or something this is my setup shower um this is how i'm doing it let me show you let's step in here that's my uh, mat, my teak mat. And uh, yeah, this is my uh, shower. And I take a nice hot shower every day. So, you know, that's what I gotta do. That um, floor pan, shower pan, I made out of two concrete mixing plastic uh, bins. Cut it in half, then, pushed it, then put them together and glued them. And I got a drain in that corner that goes right outside. So that works nice. And you know I work in flip-flops, so I gotta have my uh, my feet scrubber. So we got that set up pretty good. So the shower got it all worked out, and uh, so I don't leave here. I'm stuck here. That's the thing. I don't have no one to talk to, no inter interaction with anybody, no female interaction, not partying or anything. It'd be nice to sit down and have a, a couple drinks with a couple friends every once in a while. I ain't done that in two months. But uh, so I just get into me, guys. This is where I kind of cook. I'll throw something in the oven when I need to or warm something up. My uh, paper goods, some food. This is my, uh, my, my brush my teeth station. <laughs> my, my, my brush my teeth station. Who, who the hell talks like that? I'm not even going to edit this video, so it is what it is. Oh, my water. So let's back up. So the van, the water's coming out of my van into the shower behind everything and you can see it up top there probably and that way i have hot water everything so it's all going through my van and the hose is going through the exhaust for my compost toilet so i've got this all hooked up to take hot showers awesome that's working for me uh that little bin there catches the water coming out of my air condition so i don't have a big pool of water here i have used that water to put back in my tank put a little bleach in it I don't know why I haven't thought of that sooner. That thing on a hot day produces twice as much water than I use in a day. So anyway, this is my water filling system so I can keep water in it. And uh, let's follow this down. This is how I live. What? So you see this hose goes all the way down to this pump. This old Harbor Freight pump. And we got two... Uh, two... Uh, water bottles in that uh old truck out there that don't have tags on it i can't drive i'm not supposed to drive i drove it to walmart once out of desperation can't believe i'm stuck here like this i do have the electric bike walmart ain't too far but yeah i put the bot water bottles down in there about twice a week and uh fill my van up so i have water for a shower that's how we do it man only the last couple days have i been able to put that fan in my door and blow a breeze through here is my little nest and hey living like this has been wonderful i've been doing it for uh, how long now four years almost four years i love i love it but not sitting in a fucking old shed for four months ain't working for me but uh yeah That's what we've been doing i don't usually talk about shit like this but uh keeping it real guys Got some people messaging me, asking me what's going on, so I thought I'd put it on video. What? And uh, that's the, the real of it. The behind the scenes. It's been, uh, it's just now getting to where it's cool to me, though, to be honest. It was really bad. You know, I've learned to take a step back, take a breath. I was trying to rush everything, so I did get ahead of schedule a little bit, I believe. So now I can kind of relax a little bit. I'm not in as much of a hurry. I can see the end of it and it's all going to turn out nice 
the last week has been, the weather's been awesome, so that made a big difference right there. Yeah. So it's not really all negative, it's coming up, it's bumping up. Everything I got left in here is the cool stuff to do, like the cabinetry, the plumbing, the electric, the laid back, I can shut the door and be in the air condition. I don't really have to be out here as much as I was, because now um, I got all that stuff done. And I'm gonna give you a full tour on my next video in about maybe next Thursday-ish. And uh, I will uh, let you know exactly what I've done up to date, and it'll be the second to the end, because this thing's uh, almost done. And I'm excited about that. And I'm very proud of this build. It's coming out awesome. Hey, in the meantime, guys, I appreciate y'all watching, leaving the comments. Thanks a lot and all your support. And y'all hit that thumbs up because that's how we roll.